All right, just moving along right with the uh, Big 12 prediction videos. Um, let's see, today we're going to do TCU. Um, TCU was a big surprise last year. I mean, no one saw them having the season that they had, of course. Um, it's been talked about it to death, I know. Um, making it to the national championship game and everything, just really amazing season for them. Um, and TCU has nothing to hang their heads about. I mean, making it to the national championship game is extremely hard to do. Um, and, uh, yeah, they, sh they should be proud of the season they had last year. Um, they did lose some production um, off of last year's national championship team. Um, but I still think they're going to have a decent year. Um, <clears throat> I don't think they're going to drop off, like, like humongously. Like, I don't think they're going to have a terrible season or anything like that. I think they'll have a decent season. Um, because <clears throat> remember they have their quarterback back that was supposed to be the starter last year. Um, and then he got hurt and then Max Duggan came in and then the rest is history. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into the schedule. Um, first game is against Colorado. Um, <laughs> a lot of people, everyone knows the storyline of Colorado. I mean, uh, this, a lot of people want to sit here and try to, you know, convince me that this game is going to be close, and, um, I'm sorry, I'm just not buying it, um, I'm not buying into the Dion hype right now, um, I think that TCU wins this game, and I think that they win it convincingly, I think this is not even close, I think this is a humongous blowout, um, yeah, Colorado just has no business in this game at all, with this being close at all, um, <clears throat> so, Anyways, moving on. Uh, Nichols is their next opponent at home. Um, easy win here. Not much to say. Um, I mean, it's just it's an F FBS opponent, so should be a relatively easy win. So, 2-0. Um, next game is their first game away at Houston. Um, I think Houston's going to be one of the doormats of the Big 12, um, which is sad to say for one of the newcomers of the conference, but, I mean, it is what it is. I don't think they're going to be that great, so... I've got TCU winning that one, and they should probably win it probably pretty easily as well. Um, next game is against SMU. Um, don't underestimate SMU. Um, they can score a lot of points, but they don't have the talent that they had um, what, a couple of years ago when they were really good um, at one point. But um, <clears throat> this game should probably... It might be a little close for a little bit, but... TCU will pull away. Um, they shouldn't have too much of a problem in this game. So, start out 4-0. Um, I mean, honestly, the beginning of the schedule is relatively easy. Um, their next game is at home against West Virginia, who's going to be another doormat of the Big 12 this year. So, And they're going to get rid of their coach after this year, more than likely. They're going to be pretty bad. So, yeah, they should beat West Virginia at home, no problem. I mean, I, I don't see any issues here with you guys going 5-0 and to start out. Uh, your next game is honestly your your toughest challenge, honestly, at this point. You have to go on the road to Iowa State. I think Iowa State's going to be much improved this year. Um, I don't expect them to have the season they had last year. I think they will do relatively well. Um, I think Iowa State's going to be up there in the Big 12 this year. Um, a lot of people are overlooking them, and I'm not. Um, Matt Campbell's a great coach, and he'll have them ready to go. But um, this is at Iowa State. This is going to be a very tough game for TCU, in my opinion. Um, I, I think this is a close game, but I think TCU pulls it out. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, I just, you know, I, I just think that they will pull it out. I just have a feeling that they will. Um, but anyways, I've got you starting out 6-0. Um, next game is at home against BYU. Um BYU, it's just, you know, BYU is just, it's a, they're a hard team to, to read sometimes. Um, some years they have really good years. Other years they have really bad years. They're kind of like a roller coaster. They just go up and down, up and down. Um, and they're not, they're not, they don't, they never was shy about scheduling, you know, big boy opponents. They always would. Um, they would play all those big teams. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, they would go 50-50 in those games. Um, I know they would beat up on a lot of Pac-12 teams. Um, so, But anyways, um, I think TCU wins this game at home. Um, if it was at BYU, I might lean 
possibly the other way, but with that home, I think TCU gets this win and they go to 7-0. and Is this 7-0? Yeah, we're at 7-0. Um, all right, next game is at Kansas State. Um, this is going to be another tough one. Um, Kansas State is a pretty decent team, honestly. They're pretty good, um, usually, and they're always well coached. They, they get the most out of the talent that they have, and I just... I think I'm under the impression, if you've seen my K-State prediction video already, I think that TCU drops their first game here in Manhattan, Kansas. Um, I think they just slip up here. Um, it's bound to happen. Um, I don't think TCU is going to have as good of a year as last year, last year, like I said. So I think they lose this one. Um, next game is at Texas Tech. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, dang congestion. So, the back half of this schedule is actually pretty tough. I mean, you've got at Kansas State, you've got at Texas Tech, you've got Texas, Baylor, and at Oklahoma. Um, this is a tough um, ending to their schedule, honestly. I mean, these are the more the big boys, like the top tier Big 12 teams. So, uh, yeah, um, they're at Texas Tech. Um, Texas Tech's going to be a good team this year. I think they're going to be right up there for contention for the Big 12 title. Um, at this point, TCU will still be as well. But I think TCU gets the win in Lubbock. I think they pull it out. I think they pull it right out of their hat, out of the hat, and they get the win in Lubbock. Um, it's going to be a very tough game, and I think it's going to be very close. Um, probably will come down to the very end. All right. All um, right. <clears throat> Next game is at home against Texas. Um, I think this is going to, if you've seen my Texas prediction video, you already know I have the Longhorns winning this one, um, even though it's in Fort Worth. Um, this was a very good game last year. It was very close, very competitive. It was dominated for, by do, both defenses. Um, very unexpected, honestly. But um, I think Texas is just too much for TCU at this point, and um, I think they pick up their second loss here, and um, yeah, that's all I've got to say about that. Um, next game is at home against Baylor. I think Baylor's going to be much improved this year as well. Um, honestly, I think the Big 12 is going to be a lot tougher of a conference this year, and um, yeah, I think Baylor's going to be up there as well, competing for the Big 12 title. Um, Dave Aranda is a great coach, great defensive mind and coordinator. Um, so I th I expect Baylor to bounce back this year, and I think Baylor walks in there and gives you your third loss. Um, this just back half of the schedule is just really tough, honestly. So uh, anyways, um, yeah, I think you dropped that one. And then your last game is at OU, which if you've seen my OU prediction video, um, I think you lose this one as well. Um, I think, like I said, this is just an extremely tough stretch right here. And I don't see you getting out of this um, with a ton of wins. Um, maybe you put me wrong. Maybe you win one of these, but and go 9-3 and three or something, or 10-2, and two, maybe something like that. But this is just a really tough stretch in my opinion and I think it's going to wear on TCU and, and it's going to get to them so I think you lose at OU as well <clears throat> so all right I've got TCU at eight and four um I think you're be middle of the pack team this year so I don't think you're going to be able to compete for the big 12 title this year um could be wrong maybe you do maybe you're at the top and win a couple of these games I said you're going to lose but um Anyways, um, I've got the Horn Frogs going 8-4. and four. Um, Let me know what you guys think. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.